You may wonder why we're sitting here on the floor. <laughs> booking stuff. We're all about that trying to, life. Trying to organise a ferry flight and also <laughs> purchase an aircraft. Uh, it's because we moved into a new place here in Utrecht and well, our shipping container arrived and unfortunately it had a little bit of mould in it so it needed to go away and get the mould removed. So we're currently living on a blow-up mattress, a blow-up couch and also uh, these are our dog beds and there's our dog. It's worth noting, we upgraded our desk <laughs> chair. We are at a new standard now. Let's get started with a quick understanding of where I'm traveling to. Here is our view of the world. And for those of you who aren't familiar, we'll start with Europe uh, to give you some perspective of where we're headed and then down into Croatia. And then finally into our little airfield that we'll be uh, looking at the aircraft, which is a lovely airfield outside of Zagreb that is called Britannia. It's a lovely spot. The owner of the aircraft is actually the man who owns the field and it is well kept just as his aircraft are. This is one of the first walk arounds I had of the aircraft, you know, just getting some video so I can remember some things when I came back to the Netherlands. Quite a bit of the video in this has been taken in a vertical format, so you'll have to forgive us for this time around. And taking a look at any potential damage concerns, corrosion, or any engine potential engine issues that I might see. Anything uh, that's obvious and stands out as a reason not to buy the aircraft. Obviously, we have uh, now acquired this aircraft, so there wasn't a lot of potential problems here. But there are a few things that popped up that I hadn't planned on in terms of uh, changes that needed to be made because the Croatian airspace didn't have some of the same expectations as what are required in the Netherlands. Uh, that's changed now with their induction into the EU, but at this point there was some slight differences as this is back in 2023. So those are covered a little later in the series, but you can see the aircraft is well looked after. There is uh, all new plastics on the inside as well, all new carpets. The, uh, the seats have been covered, certainly not recovered, but they have been covered. And the windscreen has been replaced recently. The aircraft is in very good form. A little dirty at the moment, but that's not really a surprise given that we are picking up the aircraft from a grass field. And this is where it does predominant training for an awful lot of uh, Croatians and also people from outside of Croatia. So taking a solid look around the aircraft, again, I'm not an aircraft expert, but I do have some fairly significant experience in the world of automotive mechanics, which is not the same thing I do understand, but at least gives you some, some critical views around how things should look. The leading edges of the airfoils did show some wear and tear. Most of that is just incidental. There's some small damage from the uh, you know some small incidents along the way most of it would likely have been inside a hangar at some point as the aircraft's being moved around the prop which shows no significant uh, chipping on the edges and has not been filed at all that uh, that i could see so again a good indication of the aircraft being well maintained well looked after there is a whole lot of things here that i'm not covering of course there is many things that you will need to bring a more qualified person in to take a look at your aircraft before you. Unfortunately, where this aircraft was situated, it didn't give us the opportunity to do that. However, the aircraft had been run under a camo for the entirety of its life with this particular training organization. And I can say that the camo was very forthcoming in exactly what was required for the aircraft, the history of the aircraft and any sort of problems. And we had logbooks that stretched all the way back to its first run. Like us, subscribe us, we'll share some more.